Intezer is introducing our new URL analysis feature as part of Intezer Analyze. Now, in addition to analyzing files, endpoints, and more, we're able to analyze URLs both for phishing cases and for malware download. Let me explain how this works and when should you use it. So URLs can appear in emails, in uh, files, documents, etc., or potentially in network indicators that you find for malware. One very common use case is phishing addresses, basically fake websites which attempt to steal your credentials. When you upload or look up a URL in our solution, we will browse to it, analyze the website behaviorally, in addition to consolidating several different reputation services in order to provide you with a result, whether this is a legitimate or illegitimate website, um, and what are the indicators for that. You can see here that this looks like the legit Discord web page. However, it's known to be malicious, both based on scores and additional indicators that we can see here. There are many many examples like this for malicious URLs. Of course, if the individual website is legitimate, we will say so. Now, the second uh, common use case is for malware download links. Many times uh, malware is downloaded through a URL to, to a public website, uh, usually in order to get a second or third stage payload. Many analysts want to get those payloads in order to analyze them, but it is a risk to download them directly uh, and then upload them to a, another solution. So instead of that, of course, you can just put your link right here uh, in the URL analysis feature, and we will download that sample and analyze it for you. In addition to the indicators and reputation, you will get either way, you can go here to the downloaded file and get the full analysis of that individual file, including its code connections, string connections, et cetera. And you can always go back to that URL analysis. Other cases like this uh, include the full analysis of Emotet, including its behavioral analysis. Uh, so you can really see the entire uh, file analysis and its classification from that URL analysis. So this feature is now available. Feel free to try it out and let us know what your feedback is. Thank you.